Settling down in the right neighborhood can be quite challenging because there are so many factors to keep in mind. Like, what is the travel time to work? Is it a family-friendly spot? What are the schools? Where are they? Or perhaps you want to be close to the ocean or the shops. We all have different needs, and now there is a one-stop solution to help you with all of this. Private Property offers you neighborhoods on their website where you can have a look at just what these different neighborhoods in South Africa have to offer. In our loft is Private Property CEO Simon Bray, as well as one of the local heroes who was featured in neighborhood videos for the Private Property website. Jared, Simon, welcome to the loft. Thanks, Dan. Good to be here. Cool. Yeah, Simon, nice to have you me. back. Let's begin, first of all, with uh, why Private Property started this whole idea of neighborhoods, because I think it's so innovative and I love companies who innovate. Yeah, it was, a, it was really a no-brainer for a property website. You know, property, you've heard it said before, is all about location, location, location. 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 Exactly. <laughs> uh, and so you're not just choosing the home that you want to move into. You're not mm. just choosing the asset that you want to invest in. You're really choosing a neighborhood. Yes. Uh, so what we wanted to do was put those neighborhoods online. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make them visible. We wanted to talk to locals that lived in the area and really promote what living in that area is all about. Ultimately answer that question, where do you want to live? Exactly. Why video? Well, I think, you know, it's certainly an emerging uh, art form. It's an emerging rich media context online. And mm. I think it's really relevant to people, you know, the stuff yeah. that you see in your Facebook feed, the stuff that you're getting over Twitter. It's all video these days, mm. and it's all incredible production value as well. Yeah. So we, we decided we wanted to bring that element, that experiential element mm. of what it's like to live in an area online. It's not just sure. facts and figures, you know. I love that so much. So how did you guys go about choosing your different heroes from the areas? Ultimately, we wanted a different personality for all of the different personalities around South Africa. You know, each neighborhood has got a unique vibe. Mm. It's got a unique energy. And a person is a great way to visualize that. You know, it's a great way to bring that story to life. Mm. Uh, so one of the things was to make sure each of the locals was very different from one another because yeah. our neighborhoods are so different from one yeah. another. Uh, we've had a great surfer in Durban. We've got an entrepreneur in Santon. And, of course, we've got Jared, the restauranteur from Atlanta City. <laughs> <laughs> and Jared's probably wondering, like, am I the perfect Cape Tony? I don't yeah, really know. No, definitely so, not. Jared, definitely. obviously being chosen to be the, the hero of, of the spot of the Atlantic Seaboard. Um, an honor and a privilege, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you were chosen? Oh, you know what? It, uh, it's actually quite a funny story. I, I met the, the production crew. They were filming at one of my favorite restaurants in Cape Town at the time. And we sort of got chatting. We were like, what are you guys filming about? Um, I started speaking to them about uh, my concept, the little business that I'm running down the street here. And, uh, and they sort of said, well, why don't we come and uh, we're doing a shoot. Why don't we come and, and speak to you about it as a, as a local hero? I was like, me, a local hero? I was like, I've been <laughs> out of town for so long. Am I really a local hero? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, it was great and it was uh, fantastic. Really yeah. enjoyed it. Why did you personally choose the Atlantic Seaboard? You know what, for me, the most important thing when choosing maybe a neighborhood or a place where I'd like to call home is, is balance, you know, mm. and the Atlantic seaboard is balanced to me. Mountains, ocean, you know, great residential properties in between, good balance of outdoorsy type lifestyles, fantastic restaurants, great people. Um, I mean, it was a pretty clear cut decision. I, I was a Camps Bay boy once upon a time. I grew <laughs> up here. So uh, uh, the neighborhood, you know, it felt right to me um, yeah. and, it's, and it's good to be back. So have you ever worked in television or production before? Because I mean, that must have been a completely new experience for you, having to be put in front of a camera to talk about your lifestyle and where you live. As I'm, sure, as I'm sure all the viewers will be able to tell, this is my first time on TV. Uh, <laughs> it was a very, very interesting experience. Obviously, the, the team that we filmed with were super professional. Yeah. They made things uh, very, very easy for me. Uh, pretty much laid it out, uh, had the map planned, had, it, had the route planned, and... Uh, mm. You know, doing a voiceover, hearing your voice for the first time as well is quite confronting. It's terrible, but, hey, uh, hearing no, your own no, voice. I was, like, I was like, is that what I sound like? My poor staff. I was like, <laughs> they have to listen to that all day. But, um, yeah. but it was great. Um, a hell of an sure. experience. And it's good to be here with Simon. Good to be here with you, yeah. Dan. And uh, Thanks, nice, uh, nice, nice experience. And I think sure. you're getting the full lifestyle of where you live. So I think you're the perfect character to put on one of these videos because you really are the type of person that enjoys their neighborhood and is willing to share and give and do more and innovate, which I think is rocking. So Simon, I must ask, though, how do I go about using something like neighborhood? It's got some really interesting tools. You know, part of it was the experience side, mm. uh, and I think Jared really captured that for Atlantic Seaboard, but it's also meant to play an educational role. You know, you want to move into an area, you may not know a lot about it, uh, so you need to get a sense of what the property market is like. Yeah. Uh, so we've got some great tools, particularly around the property statistics uh, and the data around valuations and price trends in an area. Yeah. So is it better to rent or buy in that particular area? You know, you can see that data visualized right next to each other, you can see what kind of average prices are for certain mm, types of properties. Awesome. So you can see if it's in your price range, if you can afford it. 
Uh, so those, those types of tools are really useful, as well as the experiential stuff, like what's my neighborhood restaurant going to be? What's my uh, school around the corner for my kids going to look like? So uh, it's, it's really meant to answer those questions. Sure. So Simon, really, I think what I love about what you guys are doing is, like I said, you are innovating. And after video, hopefully, there'll be a whole bunch more innovations that come out eventually. Maybe telepathic things that come yeah, out of private property. virtual reality helmet or something yeah. cool, yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's such an honor to have you guys on the couch today. Lots of fun and really exciting to see that we can now visually uh, sort of see the neighborhoods we're wanting to be moving into. So Simon, thank you so much for creating this opportunity and Jared for joining us on the couch. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. If you're in the process of house hunting and looking for that new home in your ideal neighborhood, why not take this weekend to check out some show houses to have a look at what our beautiful country has to offer?